So it's a Saturday evening in November of 2016. I am sitting on a tram in Prague, uh, wearing the one dress I've brought with me on this trip, and I cannot help but think, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? About a week and a half prior to this moment in my life, I arrived in Prague, which was the first stop on what was to be a three-month solo trip around Europe looking for something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. Um, but I was in Prague uh, for about a week uh, in the fall of 2016. Uh, one of the first people I met at my hostel on this trip uh, was named Roberto. I met him in the bar that was in the basement of the hostel. That happens a lot. <laughs> and I met him because he was looking for somebody who spoke English and Spanish so that he could translate his wedding vows from Spanish into English so that they could then be translated into Czech because his fiance at the time was from Prague and they were getting married in about a week and a half and he needed to have his wedding vows in Czech for the wedding ceremony. So I um, lied about how much Spanish I could still speak <laughs> <laughs> and offered up my services and we started talking. Um, this man um, spoke way better English than my Spanish at this point. I was effectively a glorified uh, copy editor. I just made sure everything still made sense. Um, his vows were beautiful and we start, got to talking and we became friends. Uh, he was spending the week before his wedding in Prague, getting to know his, you know, future wife's city. Um, she was spending the week in the Himalayas, where they had met. He was from Chile, she was from Prague. They met in the Himalayas, because this is real life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she was spending. She was spending the week before they got married, where they had met. He was spending the week before they got married in her city. It was very sweet and romantic and <laughs> stupid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but basically that meant he wasn't really traveling, he wasn't really touring, he was doing wedding stuff. And every night when I got back to the hostel after doing touring and traveling and, and touristy stuff, um, we would have a beer, we would chat, and we became friends. Um, that next Monday, so I'd been in Prague for about a week, it was Halloween, um, we went for Chinese food, there's a Chinese food, in every city <laughs> in the world. We went for Chinese food, it wasn't anything special. Um, we're chatting, I'm not feeling well that night, and he says, you should come to the wedding. <laughs> you should come to the wedding party. We're getting married in the morning, we're having a party in the evening, you should come to the wedding party on Saturday night. And I said, that's very sweet of you, you don't have to invite me, that's very kind. I'm I'm taking out on the bus to Vienna tomorrow, um, but you're very kind to invite me. And he's, he's like, well, all right, whatever. That night, I went straight to bed. We got back to the hospital. I wasn't feeling well. I'm sliding in the bunk of this hostel room, listening to the Halloween extravaganza happening in the bar downstairs. And I'm lying in bed, and I think, Rachel, you said you were going to say yes to things on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> fucking say yes to things. So the next morning, um, I found uh, Roberto at the computer lab in the hostel. I was like, all right, dude, I am going to Vienna tonight. Um, but if I can come back on Saturday, I'll come back on Saturday and tell me about this party. Where, where is it? Um, and he got very excited and he invited me to the Facebook group. <laughs> the event page that had the information about the wedding, and I got on a bus and I went to Vienna. And I was there for about three days, and it was great, it was lovely. Um, I won a game of pool, which was a, a once in a million chance happening that I thought meant that Hillary would then win the election. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> And then Saturday morning, I got back on a bus and I went back to Prague. I got back to my uh, hostel around two in the afternoon. I took a nap, I took a shower, I put on the one dress I had bought with me. It was not a fancy dress. <laughs> and go on a tram to go to this bar to go to this wedding party of the guy I had met a week and a half prior. And I'm sitting on the tram and I'm freaking out. I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? The only person I'm going to know at this wedding is the groom. <laughs> I've known him for a week. 
and he doesn't have time to babysit me. He just got married today. What the hell am I doing? So I'm freaking out. I get off the tram and I go to a drugstore and buy bobby pins. I'm trying to like use time. I realize I'm gonna be early, which is also weird for me. I'm like, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do to take up time so I'm not early? I get bobby pins, I fix my hair, I get back on the tram, and I go to the bar. And it's this downstairs bar, jazz bar, in the middle of the old city, in uh, old quarter rather, in uh, in Prague, and I go down into the bar, and nobody is there. <laughs> I am on time. <laughs> nobody is there. And I look around, and it's like a deer in the headlights, and I literally turned tail and ran. I just ran out there. I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. What the hell am I doing? What the fuck am I I get up? And I leave. And I spend about 45 minutes wandering around the old quarter of the park, <laughs> trying to get myself to go to this party. I can't do it. I go back to the bar. I'm standing on, outside the door. I can't do it. So I take out my phone and I walk down the street and I find Wi-Fi. Because <laughs> I didn't have a data plan, so I'm like sitting on a stoop stealing somebody's Wi-Fi. And I get on Facebook and I message the first three people I can find. My sister, my roommate, and my friend who's named Kristen. And I'm like, hey, are you there? It was about two o'clock Chicago time at this point in the afternoon. Kristen's the first person who got back to me. And she goes, hey, girl, what's up? Huh? I was like, all right, here's the situation. I need you to kick my ass into this party. <laughs> I got invited to this wedding. I'm only going to know the groom. And I can't go in because I don't know anybody. And what am I doing there? And, and, and I'm just going to take up space. And I'm just going to be a burden on this groom who is celebrating the best day of his life, married a gorgeous woman. And what am I doing there? Why, why would he possibly want me there? But I said yes, so I need you to kick my ass into this party. And this girl is a marvel, and she just starts messaging me. She's bucking me up all the way across the world. She tells me the things that your friend tells you when you feel bad about yourself, right? She tells you you're amazing, they'll be lucky to have you, of course you're not going to be a burden on this party, of course anyone who knows you is going to be enriched by your presence. Things that don't occur to me on a regular basis, things that when in my, the course of my day-to-day -day life, it, my default is to assume that your life is fine, you don't need me in it. <laughs> Kristen says, get your ass into this party, go. And so I did. I walked down the steps, and it is packed. This party is in full swing, y'all. <laughs> and now I'm late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> So I go down, I scan the room, I find my friend who has spent the day getting married to the love of his life that he met halfway around the world. Tap him on the shoulder, <laughs> he turns around and gives me the biggest hug. Takes my hand, drags me over to his wife, this gorgeous woman named Katerina, and says, this is Rachel, this is who I was talking I met her at the hostel last week. She gives me a hug. And it's a wonderful evening. There's a band playing. This band, Roberto met when he lived in Munich. He met these guys. <laughs> when they found out he was getting married, they said, hey, let us know when. We'll come play your wedding again. This is real life. <laughs> they drove down from Munich picked up a couple of German hitchhikers <laughs> with whom I spent the rest of the night because the three of us were the only ones who weren't supposed to be there. <laughs> Danced my ass off with these random strangers. Went with them to the next bar. Spent my night with people celebrating this wonderful moment in their lives um, who wanted me to be a part of it. Went home, went home, went back.
back to the hostel mm -hmm. and went to Budapest the next day. Mm -hmm. I wish for you all the kind of friends who say, hey, I just met you, you're awesome, come to my wedding. <laughs> I wish for you all the kind of friends who say, get your ass into that party. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs>